Hey everybody, welcome back to another episode of Infiltration. So we have jumped to Gatekeeper and I want to have a look here real quick at the mech base. So we got all our mechs back and I brought the Roughneck forward. Um, we had enough pieces to put together a Roughneck Risk version, which is kind of cool. I'll show you that in a second. But um, the Bushwhacker, so we needed to repair some stuff in this thing. I was able to replace all the stuff we lost. We lost a, a ton of um, medium range missile ammo. Um, I think a couple of, was it a heat sink? No, not in this one. We didn't lose any heat sinks on this guy, but we're down to a fire control system, Artemis 2 in the head now rather than the 3. I had to put a slick suite and uh, we got the R12, uh, AR12 sheath beaker back in. So pretty much it's back to the way it was with the exception of the uh, Artemis system, which was a uh, Artemis 3. And I think we had a gunnery control in here and a gunnery uh, um, cockpit so we're down a couple points of gunnery on this guy so the chances to hit are a little lower now but I mean not much and um, Grand Summoner B with the uh, Ultra 20 um, we managed to kind of get back to where we were we got the uh, pirate fire control system back in I had an extra one of these lying around so I was able to put that back in um, but we uh, the um, uh, sensors, I can't remember what sensors we had and we lost those, so I, I put the battle computer in for now to give us the plus two initiative for everybody. Uh, Guardian ECM back in, I know both of our life support slots we did have gunnery life support slots and those are gone now, so I wasn't able to replace that. We did lose a couple of heat sinks on this, per on this guy as well, which I replaced, uh, and I think is this the one I did a little bit of maneuvering on, I think? Uh, yes, now we had four heat sinks in here so what I ended up doing was dropping in the, uh, where is it here, the double plus exchange that we picked up, which minus 20% weapon heat is a huge amount, especially for this guy. Um, our heat, heat efficiency is really good on this mech, 81 over 80. Uh, I think originally it was like 96 over 90 or something, uh, but we've dropped more heat. I can't remember what it was, but uh, with the maneuvering of stuff in here. I was able to pull three heat sinks out and I replaced them with um, the uh, BC long range, uh, battle computer long range, so plus two at long range. So that's going to help out with the ultra 20 firing at, at longer ranges. Battle computer medium range which gives us plus one hit at medium range and a battle control computer tracking which gives us plus one evasion pips ignored. So um, it's going to hit better for sure. Um, but yeah, we lost a bit of stuff. So I'm hoping that this these few things here will really help with the Ultra 20. I mean, they're going to help out with a little bit with the medium lasers as well, but it's mostly the Ultra 20 we really want to help out with. So uh, that's kind of the way we're going. Now, I did drop the other rangefinder that we had back in here um, just because I want to give this thing more sight distance because of the Ultra 20. I want that to hit more often. So And it's not as fast as the, um, the Bushwhacker. The Bushwhacker is a little faster movement, so this guy has a harder time... Uh, getting in close and seeing the enemy. So that's pretty much it. Um, I don't think it really touched anything else on this guy. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it, I think, for this one. So we're back in shape here. Um, let's see, let's have a look at the Roughneck real quick. So this is a 65-ton mech. Now, I wasn't sure if I was going to use this guy to replace the, um, the uh, what's it called, uh, Thunderbolt with. The armor is still the same. Um, it's not really any different. So whether we, we, we replace the Thunderbolt or not doesn't really matter. Uh, what does matter is if we sell this, it's worth about a million sea bills roughly. Um, but this uh, light rotary autocannon, now this is a, what's, it's a handheld weapon apparently. So it has 80 armor to its location. It has 120 shots built in. Um, and it works just like a rotary autocannon too, with, well, except it's a light rotary autocannon too, obviously. And... Uh, it's got a really good long range, so I can't really take it off of this guy. So if I'm planning on keeping this Mac, which I'm not sure if I'm going to do, um, because it does have, if we, we if we were to repair it, it does still have a fair amount of things on it. We not we need we need to drop a core in, but the XL a regular XL engine's already in here, um, and it's got some pretty interesting stuff here already in the cockpit. So um, the risk cockpit ignores uh, ignores one evasion pip. Um, plus one guts and two tactics for the uh, commander adds five structure to the head which is kind of nice the sensors risk are actually quite good overall so overall I mean this isn't a bad mech um, at 65 tons but you know 
The hyper gauze is gone. We get to keep the ammo, but no big deal. It's got glazed armor on it, which we could take off, right? I mean, it can come off, so which gives it uh, minus 12% armor weight, um, but 30% resistance to energy-based attacks and minus 15% resistance to ballistic, ballistic and missile attacks. So, um, coupled with something that um, a cockpit or something that will reduce um, damage overall, like minus 10% damage, I think we have something kicking around somewhere. Uh, that would work out really well. Um, but other than that, I'm not really sure. I'm kind of up in the air with this thing. So I'm just going to leave it here for now. Um, and if we decide to um, get something going, we'll definitely do that. Uh, we'll get it repaired and, and working. Now, it's not, I mean, the hard points are close to the same as the Thunderbolt. Uh, I think the Thunderbolt overall has got a little bit better of a layout. Um, of weapons like we're not forced to have that rotary auto cannon on the arm and stuff because uh, it does use up the ballistic point on that arm to carry that which is a little weird but I mean that's that is how it is so that's fine um, but yeah so we're gonna go with what we have here now we still have the archer in storage as well the pirate version of the archer is in here somewhere yeah we got the archer 2R and then two parts of a pirate one down here which we can assemble at some point uh, but that's the only other mech that we can assemble really um, so I don't know. I mean, maybe it's worth just doing general repairs on this and sticking it in storage for now. But I'm not 100% sure. Like I said, if I take this light rotary auto cannon 2 off, it does say on it um, at the bottom here, uh, 50 minimum weight required, currently not working, work in progress. So I don't know if I take it off of this mech if I'm not going to be able to get it back on again. Yeah, I don't know. I, I don't... I don't want to try it and then lose it because it would be nice to have because it's zero weight, right? It's just an, extra, an added weapon with long range that's got zero weight to it. Adds 80 points of armor to this arm. Now it is volatile and can explode and blow the arm off, but if we just have that weapon in the arm, then we're fine, right? So I don't know. Uh, uh, we'll see. So, but today we're gonna, just gonna go right into a mission here. Let's go over to command center after all that. Uh, and we're gonna take clandestine research here. Now this is a, uh, a capture base against Jade Falcons. Four skulls. We have our full lance though, so I'm thinking that this will probably be okay. But like I said, since I raised the difficulty up two points, um, it's been iffy when we land what's what. So let's just go full salvage on this um, and see what we can get out of this. So we're going to go with the standard lance. Uh, let's bring Goofy back up here. Grand Summoner's coming in here, Mastodon down here, Duck is over, and we want to bring Goofy in, then Hellion and Gundal. So now we're back up to how we nor our lances normally are. So let's drop down and get this sucker done. Okay guys, um, oh that's kind of interesting, these are like drop pods? That's cool. I guess since the dropship can't land here? Okay, so this is the second time we've landed here. Um, the first time we, we faced two support lances and some turrets. Now, okay, they got the two lances back here. I guess this is where the turrets are. Uh, we ended up facing five mechs and three vehicles, which I destroyed. It was like a Thunderbolt, uh, two Prowler vehicles, a J. Edgar Hovercraft, a Helopolis, Catapult 2C. Sorry, the Thunderbolt was a 2C. Grand Summoner um, and Night Gear. They were all one quarter strength, uh, armor wise. We destroyed them all, took the base, um, but there was spo because they have five guys each. It said that both lances were de both lances were destroyed, but then we did we took the base and then it was like stuck on the enemy's turn, and it just hung. So I don't know if reinforcements were supposed to be coming or whatever. I don't know. So we're gonna do this the same way we did. I did it last time. Um, Basically, what I did is I moved up, uh, moved up into here. Uh, we did try to determine what we had uh, enemy strength-wise. Our um, uh, Hellion went down this way, took out the Thunderbolt. Uh, some of the guys went through here. Some of the guys went through here, and we just basically took everything down. They, like I said, because they had quarter strength and armor, there wasn't really much they could do. So I'm going to attempt to do the same thing this, with this one. Just to just stay con stay consistent on my choices. I mean, I don't know if there's any other way to play this, but 
we're going to try and stay the same. Now, as mentioning, I did change um, some settings um, with regards to video settings. Oh, and you don't, you're stuck. Okay. So we got yourself a jump jet. Um, so one of the suggestions was to, um, on the Discord, uh, Rotec Discord, was to um, turn off the game's VSync. So just, just disable the game's VSync. And then in your NVIDIA settings, just go in and set your um, your settings for the VSync um, in the NVIDIA settings to fast, which is what I've done. Um, and in that last little um, the last little uh, playthrough that you guys are not going to see because it locked up, um, the game seemed to be running a lot smoother. Now the drop down is still slow. Oh, it looks like we do have got some guys this time with us. We didn't have anybody with us last time. We got three. A ghost, Valkyrie, and a pike. Okay, well hopefully that means that we're up against some good defense. No way to know. So I'm just going to move up and brace like I did last time. Basically we just sat behind some buildings. Heavy turret. This looks like the same kind of turret. This looks like a a, ga or a rail gun or a thumper turret. This one was a streak LRM turret the last time. It's going to be different this time, obviously, but I'm here. Um, let's just get in this way. I tried to make sure everybody was in the. Uh, barrage range of, uh, barrage protection range of um, the Thunderbolt. So let's see if we can take out that Thumper turret. We've got plenty of missiles. We're just going to drop everything on this guy. Some ATMs. Well, he's not going to survive the second line then. Um, let's get Hellion moving. get you into the range of the uh, protection and then we'll drop the uh, LRMs on this guy and fire alright a little bit of damage Balak okay what do we got here this looks like a thunderbolt or something oh they are lower strength So the helicopters are, are, it was written, are actually notorious for being uh, slow thinkers when it comes to firing. There's nothing you can do about that apparently. Just got to kind of wait it out. I was hoping that there would be like some kind of tweak that we could do to help out the AI and the sluggishness, but there really isn't. So that's a known bug. I think they're working on that, but I don't know. Oh yeah, I mentioned too that, um, I can't remember if I mentioned this while I was playing here or back before we started, that they're... Um, the rogue tech um, uh, people are working hard with harebrained schemes to try and get the mod loader to work because apparently no mods are working currently uh, with the newest update. Um, so it's either you're playing the newest update of Battletech or you're back one version and playing with mods. So uh, and there's no um, prediction as when, as to when that's going to be upgraded or updated. So. I don't know. I just I don't think it's Hairbrain Schemes' priority. I think they've got people on it to try and help out the modders to 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 do that. But pretty much every mod is broken right now, as of the new release. So um, as I was saying, I'm planning on doing that new series, but um, I'm just going to give it another week or so just to see if there's any more news now that the new year's started and everything. Uh, hopefully, we'll get some news on it. Um, and then we can figure out whether or not I'm going to wait for the new release of Rogue Tech or I'm just going to to start the new series with uh, this particular version, which is running, I think, relatively smooth. Uh, I do have orders. Question is, do I want to give them? 
This is what? Thunderbolt. Prowler. Archer. Um, yeah, let's get here. Stay hidden from as many of those guys as we can. I'm going to target the chopper. Leaving the rocket launchers off for now. But, uh... Actually, you know what? I should really be doing this. Uh, yeah. Let's get in here. With the barrage. Beautiful. There's a hole in my armor. There's a hole in my heart, butter. Butter, butter. Okay, that vehicle's still there. I think we're only in tag ranger once we move in, but we'll get into here. Yeah, we'll fire the tag on it, though. Yeah, I miss. <laughs> Don't sound so disappointed. All right, let's get that um, possible thumper turret here. Let's finish this guy up. I'm going to drop everything on it just to make sure we get it. Hopefully we get it. Come on. Nope, not quite. Requires a few more missiles than we've got to spend on this guy. Do we have anybody left? No, that's it, eh? Yeah, everybody's gone. Okay. Alright, fair enough. Sounds like somebody's stepping on a vehicle back there. They've got a sensor lock on me. Yeah. Heavy LRM turret, that's not good. How many guys are inside our uh, our red bubble here? Hard to know. Hard to know. Okay. All right. They're playing this different than they did last time. The last time there was like four mechs in here, the Thunderbolt was over here, the Prowler was over here, and they were firing straight down this way. So I was able to move up between the buildings and fire back. But if these guys move this way, I don't know. I want to get these turrets done quick to add some freedom of movement, but I won't be able to do that if the mechs are, if I don't know where they are, you know what I mean? I'm going to have to worry about two sides now. I mean, I guess I could still push. We can push the Thunderbolt and the Hades and the Grand Summoner Prime down here. Work on the turrets as we go down. And then I'll send the other four guys, well, three guys. We'll leave the Archer kind of back. Yeah, I know. No one likes you, buddy. Okay, what do we got here? Mad Dog? Ryokin. So we're going to try and pull some legs. I don't know. I, it's kind of cheating when they got like quarter strength mechs or even less of that. One fifth strength mechs and stuff. It's kind of cheating just to pull the legs off and keep them because I don't know. I just It just feels cheating to me. Like if you got a full strength mech and you're fighting it, it's a tough fight. You take its legs off. You know, take the whole mech. That's great. But the game's kind of right now offering me a gift and I don't... I, I just feel guilty taking it. So I think we'll just take them, well depending on what the, what mechs are available, we'll just take components. Fingers crossed, I'd like to get some good components. Okay, what are we out? Night gear? Okay, they had that last time too. <coughs> Not firing though. OK, 
Okay, I don't know whether just because I, I used the restart mission button as to why things are a little slower. Maybe I should have just logged out and logged back in and... I don't know. Well, hopefully that was the thumper turret that just fired. It looks like that was the case. By. Well, we got clear shots now in the turrets pretty much if we can get in there. Question is, is that what we want? You can't expose just to one turret. Oh, we can. Okay. Your job is the Stumper turret. Ooh, what do we got back here? Streak LRM turret, same as the last time. Heavy LRM. Heavy LRM, wow. That's a lot of LRMs. Alright, let's get rid of this guy. Let's see how you like this. Beautiful. Turret destroyed. You got that right. Okay. I want to expose, there we go. I was going to say, I want to expose the turrets, but not to the mechs. So we're going to do that here. Let's take this streak turret out. It can be very dangerous. Going to leave the barrage off though. Last time I fired it by mistake and took out almost the entire base. Oh shit, I should have left it on. Oh well. All right, buddy, let's see what we got up here. Oh, they might have turrets. Make sure they're not online. Archer. I think we go after the, I don't know. Archer, Rakan, right, okay, I don't know who's more dangerous. This guy's 75 tons. Thirty-one percent with those, eh? Let's hold off with the heat until we need it. Let's just uh, warlord this though. And a fire. Your buddy needs some fire support up here. Let's take out this Ryokin if we can. Wow, eight and a half percent, huh? Wow, okay. <laughs> There's some death for the Thunderbolt. <laughs> Should I Warlord it? No, I won't Warlord it on the Thunderbolt. We're just going to fire straight out. Whoa, he's tagged. Doesn't have anything on, the, on that left arm, though. Oh, shoot the farther turret. Yeah, well. Can't get your uh, team to do what you want. That's fine. Hmm. Deal with the mechs? Maybe? Yeah, let's push the mechs. This is a multi-target. Uh, we're going to go A, clear out the Thunderbolt, B on this guy. B is going to take the barrage, A takes everything else to see if we can remove them. Not quite enough, but this might help. You got that right. Warming their asses up too. Oh, 
Oh, we got another Thunderbolt back there. Oh, thanks for showing up, buddy. Nine from 15. That's beautiful. Yeah. All right, kid. You are the best fire support we have. So let's multi this out. Um, so B will take... Shall I use the barrage? Streaks either all or nothing. We are going to get that Thunderbolt or we're not. All right, let's go this route. And we'll fire. fire See ya! Okay, streak hit. Beautiful. That's a double kill. See what I mean, though? I just It's just kind of cheap to, like claim them as victory because there's, so, there's such low armor it's like almost not even I don't know I just feel guilty about taking salvage off these guys uh, I'll see the arrow off for now we're not gonna need it on the archer archer duel not that it's much of a duel Target taking a critical hit. yeah Taking a face full of punishment is what I've seen. Where the hell are we looking at now? What was that? Oh, that's a... Is that a prowler? Yeah. So it's six against seven now, plus three turrets. Well, sorry. Six plus three turrets against seven. Okay, here's another vehicle. I don't see it anywhere. That looks like he hit a building. Oh, what do we got? What was it? Christ, the pike looks like a Nash horn. Uh-huh. Don't have any, any AMS left for me, huh? Feel free to use your AMS. What are you doing? Is that Archer lying on the ground? Looks like he is. Maybe he's just knee deep in fire. No, it looks like he's lying down. Yeah. Self-propelled artillery, that's what that was. I guess he hit the building and destabilized his own mech. Something I can think of. So they should have six guys left, right? One, two, three, four, five, and then somebody somewhere. It says there's four back here. Maybe this is including, I don't know. Whatever. Good to go. Let's get some HE on this turret, please. Worry about the Thunderbolt in a second. Let's get rid of this missile turret. You got that right. Okay, now you won't be able to do enough damage on this turret to take it out, but we can do some significant damage, I think, on the night gear. 
Um, question is, do we want a rocket launcher, this guy? You know what? Let's do it. Yeah. Sure. We got three rounds of rocket launcher fire, so we might as well do it. Well, didn't kill him, but he sure as hell ain't going to be shooting anybody anytime soon. Okay, there's another blip? No? Guess not. Uh, let's finish this guy up. Wow, he took it. He took it. I'm receiving you. Okay. You're the long range one. Ooh, a little too much, eh? A little too far. Well, that's a that's a that's a murder that that's a murder death kill on this guy. Let's just split these up. Um, let's go this route. See what we get. Affirmative. Oh, not enough. It's panicking though. You know, I said I wasn't going to split fire. I should not have split fire. Alright, let's get my stability back here. Actually, let's fire and then get my stability back. Um, this guy can't really do anything. Even if I don't shoot at him, he's not going to do anything anyway. Because he needs direct line of sight, right? Um, just move over here. Let's finish this guy up. Use it all. Don't know why I'm playing with my food. Let's shred these guys crunchy bits if you can. Oop, no point in multiing. Here we go. I was gonna multi-target the turret with the rack, but there's no point. Take out the gear, that's fine. That there's a kill. Sure is. Hopefully Mastodon can get close enough to that uh uh, that all artillery vehicle at the back, fire support vehicle. Such a low initiative, this guy. I should really, really check and see if one of his skills is lazy. Yeah, people do not like that bushwhacker. All right, what do they got next? So they still got the two, well, the one turret. The other turret can't fire at anybody because it needs to be direct fire and it obviously can't. Mastodon. On my way. Might as well see if we can get some splash damage on this one as well. Oh, really? Really? All right, well, let's see if we can splash this turret. It's already heavily damaged. There we go. Just enough, it looked like. That one's gone. Thank you. Thank you very much. I know it couldn't fire, but at least now we have a bit of maneuverability now without having to worry about taking it out. I'm going to sprint... Um, um, is it Gundal? Or duck, duck. I think we're going to sprint him up into the uh, into the uh, um, research station's uh, hexagon to be able to capture the base next turn. Whether these guys are dead or not, we're just going to capture it. OK, 
Okay, allies. Ah, uh, screw you. Losing armor. See, this doesn't feel like a four skull to me. Receiving you. You know your job, buddy. Oh, you can't quite get in there, eh? Well, Thunderbolt's pretty much toast. Should have brought some more armor, buddy. He's like looking at him now. Oh, shit! <laughs> He's just taking a bit of a dirt nap. Alright, move forward to give him some support. Now, I think maybe... Oh, we can't multi-target. So we're going to fire on this guy. Targeting rear armor. Can't not take that. Enemy unit destroyed. So we should be able to take out this turret and that other vehicle this turn. Commander? Where was that solid blue line? That's pretty darn good. Taking that's what's warlord it. I want to confirm the kill on this one. All right, firing. Roger. That should do it. Yeah. Base pacified. Vehicle down. Just gonna back it up a little bit. Um, see, it doesn't say the support lance is destroyed. Yes, Commander. I understand. Confirm. That's really, um, weird. I'm not going to waste my uh, ammo on this guy in case we get a full strength unit next. Commander. Roger that. You on the other hand. Check it off. Now I, gotta, I wanna check off something or else we're missing a Good to go. vehicle or something. On the move. Full speed. I don't see anything. Now the last time I played this through it said we killed everything. I'm picking up a new sensor trace. Okay. Now we didn't get that last time. Where did you get the sensor trace from, buddy? Hopefully not up our ass here. I don't think so. Interested to see though where the other unit is. I think it just miscounted. Ostwar. That's the 75 ton version, isn't it? I just want to know if he's full strength. Yeah, see, we're getting better frames here. I don't know if he's full strength or not. Like, I was never able to do this during their turn before. So we're definitely getting better, uh... Oh, an Annihilator! Where's he coming from? The flank. This could be good. Just looking for a straight-up good fight. 
Yeah, we we weren't able to move. Oh, Mackie, man. Ooh, depends on what he's outfitted with, I guess. Yeah, just gonna take a face of rack in a second. Um, do I want to push this? Let's not push this engagement just yet. Okay. Wow, that guy's heat bar is a little ridiculous. Commander. Pretty good chances to hit on that guy. Uh, let's take him. Okay, let's get into here. Affirmative. What's up, Commander? We got some guys coming up on the side here that I need you to pay attention to. Let's get over here. Get into position to actually come out and attack them next turn. Okay, do we have a straight shot at anybody? We don't. We can get one though. Alright, well let's just see how good we are here. That's actually a pretty good loadout for a Mackie. He's got full armor too. Which means this guy does as well. Nah, let's go with the better chances to hit. Get into here. Wait, we hit the. We were shooting at this guy, but we hit the Mackie. I guess because he was completely blocking him, pretty much. Doesn't really matter who we shoot at. Let's shoot at the Mackie. Maybe we'll hit the other guy. Yeah. What do you think, girl? I think it's time to make some Mackie meat here. Okay, we're gonna Warlord. And let's go with full six on this here. Two hits. And the streak looked like it hit too. Okay, soften him up. I wanna know where that last bit of the support lance is. They should have two other mechs back here too somewhere. Unless they got stuck off the map. Yeah. There's a Mackie over here that needs a face full of lead. Could you uh, just show him how upset we are at him showing up here? Thank you very much. Uh, let's leave the, ar the arrow off so we get a better shot at him. All right, strip a bit of armor off him. Okay, there's our base. Yes, Commander. Uh, let's reserve you. The worst thing about us occupying this base this early is that. Um, 
Jeez, man, I don't know. Um, oh, we did hit the Oswar. The thing about hitting, uh, occupying this base this early and not being able to kill that support lance is that if um, we can't find that guy, then this mission's a, a scrub. Will the building collapse on him, maybe? No? No? Yeah, Alright. Let's get over here. Fire and maneuver. Yeah, not a lot of damage. It's a pretty big, pretty big damn heat bar. That's, I'll give him that. Okay, let's get over here. You can't really do too much damage to us. I'm, I'm not really that worried. The AC-20 is out of range, so... Uh, yep, fire it all. Okay, one hit. Two pulse laser hits, not bad. You can move over here as well. Moving out. Order. Uh, I'm going to reserve you. Awaiting orders. And you're going to get reserved. Waiting for orders. Wow. Uh, that's a reserve as well. So whatever happens here, if we don't get, if we can't find this guy and the mission craps out on us, I'll just withdraw in bad faith. For uh, we want to reserve again. Or I guess it would be good faith because we did capture the research station. Okay, who do we got left here? Goofy, we got Duck, Gundal, and Mastodon left. I'm trying to figure out now how many mechs we killed. The Thunderbolt, Archer, so one, two, three, four, five, six, helicopter seven, this vehicle eight, Thunderbolt over here nine. So there is one missing somewhere. Let's find out when these guys go. Kind of worried about that. And now, oh, there's a Warhammer. Okay. Receiving. Hey, let's see what this baby can do. Okay, I'm gonna have vigilance. Guts and tactics gets increased by two. Hopefully we'll be able to get away from this guy. Uh, I'm going to Warlord 2. Beautiful chances to hit. Hopefully get away from this guy before next turn starts. So we'll fire and run again. I don't think the Mackie moved. Okay, much better chances to hit. I'll leave the arrow off for now. Let's fire the rest. Yeah, I think he braced himself there. That pike is like hiding in a corner. I ain't coming out today. There's bad people out there. Okay, where are you coming from? Oh, you can see him, can you? All right, well.
Okay, I was about to call bullshit on that, but just barely. Sure. Um, yes, Commander. We're on Mackey removal. Everybody's on Mackey removal at this point. Okay, let's hammer him. I'm gonna leave the barrage on because we got a good chance to hit. Let's get the warlord up there. Hammer him. Come on, unstable. Wow, you shut the fuck down, that's for sure. Holy crap, man. Okay, I think we'll be okay, but we're going to move up like this. Oh, wait, that's a... There we go. Should be okay away from the Annihilator. We should go before him next turn. Can we get the switch to HE? We can. Let's polish this guy up if we can. Um, yeah, let's get him off the board. He's taking so much damage already. There's no way I'm taking the legs off him. Okay, next turn, eh? Alright, we've got... Oh, we got a... Warhammer running away? That's like cheat. Ah, oh, man, that's cheating. All weapons committed. Okay, some good solid leg hits. The barrage looks like it might have hit him too. At least he's in the center of the explosion. I'm receiving you. Okay, Lilo Dallas multipass. Yours is the, is the Ost War. At full throttle. Just shoot him. Let's put this on. Ten four. Tag hit for sure. Boom! Christ, half the city is melting down. At least the buildings are out of the way. Now we can just target this guy's legs. Take the Warhammer's leg off for me, please. Don't feel so bad about doing it this way. Oh, come on. Who's this guy? Ostwa. There he is. Uh, we better go with two. There goes the leg. Inflicted some heavy damage. Yeah. I think you should be on annihilation duty, but I don't think you can get over there. Roger that. Okay, rotary's jammed. Um... Don't need to OP that guy. We could just shoot. You know what? Let's tag barrage the Ost War. Frig him. That sure as hell was. Apparently, this is a uh, a bug as well. Them staying blue. I thought it would be nice if there was like a turn cooldown. How many times they could do. Uh, a cold shot, but it's not. It's just a uh, a bug. Commander. Commander. You uh, give this guy a face full of LRMs for me, please. Just hammer him. Roger. Yeah, I killed him. See, we don't sweep our opponents aside. We just push straight through them. Oh, we got something back here. What's this guy? Oh, Enforcer? 2C? So that's the three guys they've got left. Plus there's gotta be... 
I don't know, whatever. That should probably stay out of sight of the Annihilator. Looks like that building is giving us some good uh, protection. We can take the rocket launchers off. Or we could leave them on and shut this guy down. No, I think I want to use them against the Annihilator. We only got one round left to do that, so let's do this. It is. It's not the best to be using missiles against that, though. Double time. Let's go. Uh, let's leave these off. They're going to splash all over the place. Let's see if we can pinpoint his leg. Target acquired. Plus, we got to cool off a little bit. I'm just worried about blowing them up. I don't mind picking the legs off full strength, guys. far more of a challenge. That uh, annihilator is going to go down hard though. He is going to go down hard. That would be a miss. He's up. He's up. He's blowing buildings up. Whoa, what the hell was that that he fired? Why did everybody take headshot damage? What the hell is he packing? What the hell is what the hell is this? Everybody took... What the hell? I don't... I don't what, what did he use? What the hell did he use? All right, let's just get into here. It must have been some kind of crazy ass EMP or I, I, I have no idea what the hell that could have been. Let me shut that annihilator up, please. It's pissing me off now. Let's give him the what for. Oh my god, you killed him. Oh my god, you ki <laughs> you killed him in one shot. <laughs> That's got to be the most insane thing. All right, knock his ass down. He's stressed though. All right. Um Yes, commander. Let's see if we can pinpoint strike that leg. How much has it got left? 36. Uh, two shots at it. You won't be able to... Get, well, let's drop an HE on it. No, I... CT's got what? Oh, I still got lots. Let's just fire the two. Okay, we got one in the leg. That was a kill. Somehow. Engine destroyed? Okay. That makes sense. Uh, I'm very interested to see what that Warhammer have had, so I'm going to take the Warhammer pieces, I think. If we, if we get three of them. Um, I want to know how he applied that head damage to everybody. Unless it was a, a fluke. Could have been a fluke. All right, let's finish this guy up, and I have no idea what we're going to do after that, because apparently we have not hit the, uh, 
that last unit around here and I, can't, I don't know where it is. It's not showing up on the map anywhere. So whatever. He's running. He's running. You're a little bit out of range here. Alright, let's just sprint forward. Wait, what? Attack. Alright, we did. Sorry, my kid came up. We were just ch chatting there for a second. Um, yeah, we just uh, did a um, a uh, demo self-tape for uh, Disney. They've got a new production of uh, uh, Peter Pan coming out and um, my kid was asked to read for Wendy, believe it or not. So... Don't know if we'll get it, but we might. They were just excited that they were asked to read for it, so. Alright, who else do we got up close? Um, we can see this guy. Oh, wait, wait, oh, what? Ooh, there we go. Okay, I think we're out of range with the HE. Or are we? We are not out of range with HE. Beautiful. Roger that. Target's a critical hit. He's got a partial wing system? An enforcer? Really? Oh, what? Ooh. Full throttle. See if we can take him down. He's super heated anyway. Oh, that was hell damage. There he goes. Oh, I guess the support lance doesn't matter. Oh, good. Mission successful. Beautiful. Okay, contract payment increased by ten percent. Not bad. We didn't. I don't. I guess it didn't count that second lance, which is, I guess, okay. And everybody took head damage. I have no idea what caused that. Bushwalker took some good arm damage, but maintained the arm. Hopefully, we didn't lose anything. And where is? We've only got two Warhammer 2C parts. 80 tons. What the hell did this thing have? Medium pulse lasers, pair of LRM 15s. And I, I'm assuming it was only PPCs. I don't know why they all we all took head damage. I have no idea. Um Okay, I'm gonna just leave that. Let the um, let the AI determine if we're gonna get any of these parts or not, because that was just a too easy mission. The Warhammer 2C would be nice, but like I said, I'm just gonna leave it. Uh, ATM sixes, ERPPC clans, six tons, not bad. Oh, hyper assault Gauss rifle. Uh, that could replace the hyper assault, hyper assault Gauss rifle on the, um, yeah. Large improved heavy. I want that for sure. Uh, this could replace the hyper assault Gauss that we lost on the, uh, Roughneck. If we want to go that route. Interesting. Fires 10 projectiles per burst. Five times two times 10. Oh my God, LRM 15s. Streak 20s, which we don't need. Anything doubled up back down here? We get more than one in a roll. No, clan exchangers. Those would be really nice because they're only one ton. They're not as good as the three ton inner sphere. Uh, double plus exchangers, but they're pretty darn good for one ton. Much better than just adding a heat sink or whatever. That's a. This is a super possibility. I'm going to take two of those for now. Um, yeah, I kind of feel a little guilty because, like I said, they just didn't um, have enough 
uh, defense in play. Hyper Goss ammo. Maybe we do take the Hyper Goss. Improved in the improved ATMs are nice, but we just don't have enough ammo for it. Uh, okay, well, oh, Streak LRM, five tons. We only have two tons of that right now, which means I can't use any of our Streak LRMs that we have in, in storage because I have all the ammo that we have right now inside the, uh, the Zeus. But what are we going to put it on, though? That's the question. Have to be direct fire. I mean, the Thunderbolt could take a Streak. possibility um, how many of these do we have left we got three of them so we don't need any more maybe we do take this see if we can make that um, roughneck viable I guess I mean it's an option for replacing the um, the bushwhacker but the bushwhacker is working so well but at 55 tons the armor just I don't know it's getting banged up. You know what? I'll throw it in. Yeah, let's just go this route. We'll just confirm this. Okay, so we've got a Night Gear Prime, Ostwar, and Ryokin part. Not bad. Um, ER, long fire missiles, Artemis 4. Eh, partial wing system. That's kind of interesting. We've already got one of these, so it's not a big deal. HEATM ammo, which is nice because we need some. Um... Yeah, I guess it's okay. Wow, that's a lot. Well, no big deal, I guess. Wasn't too bad of a fight. I think a lot of that probably came from that headshot that we took. We're all out of action. That's crazy. That is just crazy. All right, Zeus... Uh, actually, you know what? Let's bring the Hades up because we're going to be replacing the um, heavy improved or the heavy sorry, the improved heavy laser in the arm with the whatever it is, the improved one, the regular one with the improved one. <laughs> we'll replace that, give it a better chance to hit. Uh, what else we need to do here? Uh, the Grand Summoners can come up because I want to see if I can get the exchangers in those who else is running a little hot no one really so that's four 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 do we have another one four we don't so let's go five eight and seven and six that's not going to give us a good uh, layout here then let's bring up uh, man I'm trying to calculate this here to make it work right let's do this so that's eight days. Right, eight days, and then four and five go in. And then seven and six go in, so 11. So 17 days, we have everything back. And that's when the financial report hits. All right, well, we're going through a financial report, two million. Uh, and I saw off a bunch of junk. I don't know, man. I, I, the difficulty levels is really are really strange right now. It's really up in the air with what we're getting. So I'll, I'll keep going as we're going along here. Um, maybe I'll narrow. I think we've got it set to difficulty range of three based on planet level. So if it's a let's say a five skull planet, we could have anything from a uh, three and a half to a five skull. So maybe I narrow that down to like half as to like w like one one difficulty. So if it's a let's say a four skull planet, we'll have anything between three and a half and four and a half. I think maybe that's what I'll do, mission wise, and then um, we'll just play around and see what we get out of that, because that may also play into the variance of the difficulty of the mechs that you encounter in the matches maybe I don't know so we'll play around with that see if we can get some more even matches going it's kind of difficult I don't know maybe in the next series I'd, I'd stay away from double lances in 
each of the two um, games that I'll be running back, to, like side by side? I don't know. We'll have to see. All right. But I'm going to leave the episode here, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, drop a like. If you haven't subscribed, please be free to subscribe. You can also drop any comments in the comment section down below. If you have any suggestions for the Roughneck, please drop it in the uh, comment box down below. And until next time, we'll see you later.